Thank you for joining us. My name is Inonga Malumo from the Corporate Communication Team at Anglo-American and welcome to Invest Her, the Investor Series as part of Anglo-American Women's Month. Now, I am very excited to have with me this morning Gilebo Khiletluza, who is the Chief Financial Officer at De Beers. Thank you so much for joining us and how are you today? Thank you so much for inviting me, Inange. I'm very well, thank you, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. Today we're going to talk about how you manage work-life balance. When you're not busy at work, what does your free time look like? I love spending time with my family, uh, my husband, my kids. I'm also an aspiring uh, interior decorator and farmer. Success is based on repetitive, positive behavior. Tell us about some of the things you do regularly on an ongoing basis. I love setting goals, whether it's how to become a best mother, a conscious mother, um, how to be the best wife to my husband, and how to also fulfill myself and fill my cup. So every year I set goals that I want to achieve and also see how I can be better than I was before. I put plans in place to make sure that I achieve those goals. And when things don't go the way I want them to go, I move on, I don't get stuck in what's not uh, taking place, but more on opportunities. I focus on opportunities. I'm very conscious about what I put my energy into. So I make sure that when I'm working, I'm working and I focus on the right things and on the deliverables, on what's going to give me the right outcome. I'm very conscious about making time for my husband. For example, we take 10 kilometer walks every Saturday. I'm very conscious about being there with my kids for school, whether it's projects, but also it's about making time. Meditation taught me how to have conversations with my emotions, the space that I'm in, and my thoughts. So I was able to also get to identify thoughts and feelings that are valid and those that are not valid. And that has really stood me well. Mentally, when I meditate, I get into a very good zone and I'm able to be in control of where I am and the space that I'm in. Are there certain key events that took place in your life which were defining moments for you? When I was five months old, I lost both my parents at the same time. And I only found out that I was an orphan at the age of seven. So my grandmother then explained to me what had happened. And before then, I didn't realize. I think, bless her soul, she was a very loving, loving grandmother. But after she informed me about my situation and my circumstances, I realized that I had to be responsible for my life and be in charge of my life. And since then, I haven't looked back. What would you say to women who perhaps feel you can't be feminine and be in your womanly essence in the workplace? There's something beautiful about women. If you look at most inspirational uh, or influential women in the world, they have one common trait, and it's the spirit and the drive to change the world. And most of those women actually were themselves and they were authentic to themselves. And that, we can harness that and use that to learn, relearn, unlearn, and you know, overcome limiting beliefs as well. How important do you think emotional self-development is? What would you say to women who perhaps don't know how to approach that? I would really say that it's all about internal introspection, reflection, and also being honest with yourself and taking the responsibility, asking yourself, where is my accountability in every aspect of your life? It has the power to evolve you as a human being because it's a decision that you make that comes from within. And I will say that the more you also compete with yourself, the more there is growth. So what advice would you give to women when it comes to dealing with criticism, not just in the workplace, but in life in general? I would say rather focus on the feedback and not the how the messaging comes across. Because when you take in feedback, regardless of how it's coming or whether it makes you feel like you're being targeted, you end up not focusing on what the person is trying to say to you, but then on the noise around how they're saying it to you. Whereas when you take the message, you take the feedback, it goes back again to reflection and saying, what exactly is being said to me? And that is self-development. 
Thank you so much. And I'll just ask you to give one word of encouragement to the women of Anglo-American and De Beers. What is the message from Gilebukhile Lula, CFO of De Beers? Continue to develop yourself, evolve into the beautiful person that you've been created to be. Look out for your purpose, always know yourself because that defines who you are. And I would say don't take things personally. And we all do take things personal. It's a human nature. And when you do, don't stay there. Thank you so much. Thank you.